we need to add credentials again. But this time it's a little different. We'll need a client ID and client secret to make it work. Let's head over to cloud.google.com, click on console. At the top, click the project picker and create a new project. Give your project a name like AI Automation, leave everything else as it is and click Create. Then click the project picker again and make sure your new project is selected. Now open the navigation menu, go to API and Services, and then OAuth Consent screen. Click Get Started. Here, give your app a name, something like AI Automation App, and enter your email address. For audience, select Internal. Under Contact Information, add your email address again. Click I agree and then create. Next, navigate to clients and click create client. For application type, select web application. You can leave the name as it is. Under authorized redirect, click add. Paste the URL provided by N8N. Finally, click create. You'll now see your client ID and client secret. Copy both and paste them into your editor in N8N. After pasting, you'll notice the Sign in with Google button appears. But first, click Save. Now click Sign in with Google, select your account, and then click Allow. Return to your N8N editor. If everything was successful, you'll see the message. Account connected. Currently, when you click Parent Drive, you'll see the message Could not load list. This happens because the correct permission to access Google Drive via the API hasn't been activated yet. Go back to Google Cloud, search for Google Drive, select Google Drive API, and click Enable. Now return back to your N8N editor and give the new folder the name Automation and click Test Step. The test was successful. Let's verify it by going to drive.google.com, click on My Drive, and there, I see our freshly created automation folder.